Hi guys, welcome to Advices Media. And this is Samsung Galaxy S4 smartphone, which for which we were awaiting for a very long time. After the launch of the Galaxy S4 smartphone in New York, this is in India today. It has been launched. So before we proceed, let's turn now you with the list of specifications this device has got along with. To start with, this device comes with a 12.7 cm of Full HD screen along with a pixels per inch of 441 which is equivalent to that of the one of HTC One. Apart from that, this device also comes with the Full HD Super AMOLED display with 1920 to 1080p resolution. And also the speciality of this device is this device comes with the two processors that is the 1.6 GHz quad core processor and the 1.2 GHz quad core processor and depending upon your device's requirements or the application's requirement the toggling between both the processors are selected apart from that this device also comes with the latest OS of Android that is Jelly Bean 4.2.2 which will be upgraded in future of which we are not having any details as of now yet this device also is built with the same material as that of other devices of samsung that is the polycarbonate material as you can see that there is a textured finish which is being given at the back and also right here on the front all the bezel part is provided with the same kind of material on the sides you can see that there is a metal casing Let's check out what are the other things which are there in this device. This device comes with the volume rocker keys on the left. You can see that over here. And on the right, you have just got the power button and nothing else. At the bottom of the device, you have got the microphone along with the micro USB, micro USB slot with which you can either charge your device or connect your device with the computer with the help of USB cable. Coming out of the top, there is an IR sensor just in case if you want to turn your device into a remote to control your television then you can do the same with this and also you have got the 3.5 headset audio jack and this second microphone for cancelling the noise and at the back you have got the 13 megapixel camera with autofocus and with flash and the specialty of this device or this camera is probably zero shutter lag Coming into the front, this, it has got a 2 megapixel camera which has a capability of recording full HD video at 30 frames per second with zero shutter lag and DIS. And then at the bottom of the bezel you have got the back key and the menu button along with the button at the middle. So let's check out what are the functionality part or probably the applications apart from the standard applications of Google Suite this is also called the Samsung Apps and the Samsung Hub along with the S Voice, S Translator S Health, Story Album Group Play, Optical Reader along with a few other options like Help, Gmail, S Planner etc which are also a part of many other smartphones called in terms of additional features, this also got uh, the chat on app, which comes, which is the only app which comes with the voice and video call facility on the chat on, and it's not there as of now for any other smartphones. It only ha is available in the Galaxy S4 smartphone. Apart from that, this also got the Samsung Link, which is nothing but a short of I'm um, like the all share play, which is already there. And coming on to the main screen, seven home screens can be added to this device. So as you can see that there are seven home screens you can add. And also, if you drop, if you are dropping down the screen with the help of two fingers, you can see that there are a bunch of all the options which are there are being shown over here, which includes Wi-Fi, GPS, sound, screen rotation, Bluetooth mobile data, NFC, air view, air gesture, etc. So that you can actually control or enable or disable all the options at your convenience. And just in case if you are dragging menu or the drop down with the help of a single finger, 
then you'll be getting all the standard application standard options like Wi-Fi GPS sound screen rotation Bluetooth mobile data blocking mode power saving screen mirroring multi window Wi-Fi hotspot S beam NFC etc in short all the options are being tiled over here and unlike all the options are being shown shown over here on a single screen if you are dropping down with the help of two fingers so here is the one which you are talking about so now let's check out on how exactly the air view function works because that's one of the most talked feature of this device so so there's a one so in air view if I am flipping the screen I need not touch the device I need not touch the device to roll over the image because it automatically captures the gestures of the things which are there so that's one of the best features and also in the if you're watching any video you can actually use the gesture mode I'll show it to you on how exactly that works out so there's a gallery so this video so without me touching the device screen I can actually decide on which one which one to play or on which particular instant I want to watch the video that is something very cool I'm like that very cool feature just in case if your hands are oily or if your hands are dirty you can actually make use of this air view feature the only bad about this feature is that the air view feature is not compatible still compatible with all the applications which are there in the galaxy s4 but yes as of now to start with this comes with the limited application support but in the coming days we can probably see much more more, more number of applications are supporting this air view gesture apart from that interesting thing is the samsung hub So in this all new application which is called as Samsung Hub, you have got the four different services that is video, books, games and learning. So I'll just have a look on exactly that works out to be. So there's a movie store which is the very own movie store of Samsung wherein you can actually rent or buy the movies depending upon the movie. So there's a very cool interface. So once you have selected the movie, you can either choose the movie either to watch on HD or the standard definition. Also alternatively depending upon the title and the movie, you can either choose to buy or rent the device. Since these movies are the DRM, uh, DRM protected, you will not be able to transfer the movies, downloaded movies to any other device. And only as of now, you can only watch the same on your device on which it is downloaded. It is also not having the thin client or the web version wherein if you purchase a movie there is no option as of now to watch the same on your computer. So that's the one thing about this. So coming out of the books, the same philosophy is then carried wherein all the books down, which are downloaded from this Samsung hub are DRM protected and you will not be able to transfer the books to any other so on the similar lines you have also got the game store where you, you can actually download paid paid games and then you have also got the learning hub which is now integrated and is a part of samsung hub so as you can see that the learning store consists of all the necessary syllabus components like icic biology uh, uh, mysteries and marvels uh, ted and the innovative uh, language etc you have uh, got a bunch of learning things so as you can see that to purchase the same you need to just tap on the learning material 
which you wish to buy and just tap on buy to proceed with the payment procedures to own the same also the samsung hub can be set it as widget in your device so there's a one so that you can actually get through all the latest content which is there on this app which is a part of samsung apps now let's check out on how exactly the camera works out the camera app pro so as you can see that this is a camera app which you have opened you have got the settings option at the top the first option is a flash you can either turn it on or turn it off or you can probably choose to set as automatic mode or also you can set the option of auto night detection where it automatically adjusts the camera in the low light to give you brighter and cleaner images you can either choose to have voice commands understand the camera as you can also operate the camera with the help of a voice command apart from that you also have an option to share along with the mode settings option wherein you can select from auto night sports panorama eraser rich tone animated photo etc so there are actually various modes available in the camera and you can choose any one out of those apart from that to toggle to the video mode just need to tap on the video thing after which your camera mode will be changed to the video so there are a bunch of options which are available in this camera also which also includes the gps tagging volume key exposure values guidelines and the contextual file name etc along with the iso details so that's all about the samsung galaxy s4 smartphone and not forget in terms of connectivity features this device also comes with wi-fi 802.11 abgn also the latest standard which is available that is ac is also supported by this galaxy s4 smartphone in the list of connectivity options this device also supports gps gps nfc bluetooth 4.0 and also it has an ir led at the top which i've told you before in terms of sensors this device has got the nine different sensors compared to the seven sensors of galaxy s3 so the, the list of sensors which are there in the galaxy s4 includes accelerometer rgb light geomagnetic proximity gyro sensor barometer temperature sensor and the humidity as well as the gesture sensor so in all there are nine sensors which are there in this device and it's probably the better one as of now in india it there will be only a 16 gb variant available in the market but we have no clue as of now on what are the availability details of 32 gb as well as 64 gb for all thanks to the external sd card support with which you can actually expand your storage from 32 gb from 16 gb to a whopping 64 gb and that becomes to a 64 gb plus 16 gb of your storage space in your galaxy s4 apart from that this device weighs 130 grams with thickness of 7.9 mm and comes with a battery of 2600 mAh last but not the least the pricing the pricing of this device is 41500 so that was a quick review about the Samsung Galaxy S4 smartphone stay tuned to advices media for more updates thank you